Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first installment of many of Prima Don's Book Corner, where we're going to talk about our favorite books. And the book I picked today is by Mankind Mick Foley, and it's called Have a Nice Day. Excellent book, wonderful picture, shows Mick's missing ear, all the things you could possibly want out of a book. And I would just like to read just a real quick, brief little segment of when he lost his ear in Germany. After the operation, one of the Krankenschweissers, or nurse, Show me the remains of my ear, except by now, without my cartilage, it looked like a giant skin flap. Like the kind of cheese on a pizza that's been sitting out at room temperature. I asked her if I could have it. She looked at me as if I just farted in church, pinched her nose with her fingers, and replied, The ear will become schatzig, or dirty and smelly. Now that's a hell of a something to say about something near and dear as my ear. But I searched in vain for the German word for formaldehyde. The Krankenschweister did something, the image of which would haunt me for months. She calmly stepped on the foot pedal that lifted the lid of the medical waste basket and with a flick of her wrist, disposed my former ear forevermore. She then turned to me and with the inquiring eyes of a child said, Der Katz ist alles das Spiel, ja? Or is, isn't wrestling all fake? And that is the book I'm promoting this month. It's called Have a Nice Day by Mankind Mick Foley. And Don, what do you have... Hey, Don. Don... Don! What? Your book! Your book! Book Corner! Book of the Month! Let's go! Where is it? You don't you don't have one, do you? Forget don't don't even look around. You didn't even bring one, did you? No, I didn't bring a book. Okay, that's a very shaky first thing. segment Why of Primanon's book? book Corner. We'll be back next month with another book. Cut. What the hell? I thought you were gonna bring a book this time. What's wrong? I don't wanna do the book thing. Can't somebody do it for me? Today's installment of Prima Don's Book Corner is going to be a doozy. Number two. Number one wasn't uh, too spectacular thanks to the unenthusiastic response but uh, one of uh, the two hosts. But today on Prima Don's Book Corner, I'm going to talk about a book called Hollywood Babylon. No, not the one by Kenneth Anger that everybody knows and loves about Hollywood sleaze. No, this one's a collection of great quotes and gossips by Bose Hadley. And uh, I'd like to read from you, or for you, from the Ex-Husbands and Wives chapter. A couple of my favorite quotes on here I think you'll enjoy. This is Lucille Ball talking about Desi. Desi is a loser. He's a gambler, an alcoholic, a skirt chaser, a financially smart man, but self-destructive. He's just a loser. But Desi says about her, Lucy isn't a redhead for no reason. She's a big comic talent, but she's also got a big, not very funny temper. Not a temperament, but a temper. Her tongue is a lethal weapon. She can be very cruel when she wants to be. Mm. And lastly, by Anthony Newley about Joan Collins. Joan Collins is a commodity who would sell her own bowel movement. And that's my book of the month, Hollywood Babylon by Bose Hadley. And Don, your book... Book. Book of the month that you're supposed to have ready for the segment now. Today, the second. Um, my... Your my, book. My book your, this... Uh, book of the month. Segment my two. My book this week, uh, this month, uh -huh. uh, for segment two. Mm -hmm. Your book. My, my, my book is... Uh, a book. Well, my book is, is actually a periodical uh, this week. It's a, it's, a, it's a newspaper is what it is. It's called... Uh, what? A what is your problem? You didn't it's have a book. It's called Toast. It, this, this, oh, I got a book. It's, you it's have a periodical. It's, you didn't have a book ready, did you? My, you don't have a book. Yeah. I told you I didn't want to do this. Cut. Cut. Why do I got to do a book? What's wrong with the news? Your enthusiasm is underwhelming. <sighs> Welcome to the next installment of Primanon's Book Corner, and I promise you it's going to be the best one yet. The book I'm promoting this month is called Andy Coppin Revealed, Best Friend Tells All by Bob Zamuda, who in his own right is an underrated comedic genius. And I'd like to read a uh, little selection for you now from this. And this is uh, when Bob met Andy for the first time uh, at the uh, Improv in New York, Andy doing his locker character. Uh, Andy, he meets Andy out back, and uh, Andy says, please, please, in that accent of his, my back is very hurting, can you help me? 
I walked over, I noticed he had a pile of items, apparently from another show. You want me to help you with these inside? Is this it? No, no, there's more inside. I followed him backstage and was confronted by a mountain of props, 16 millimeter projectors and so on. Man, you sure have a stuff load of stuff there, I noted. He looked at me quizzically. Shipload? I come on ship. Yes, yes. No, no, forget it, I said. You help, you help me. So I picked up the congas and groaned, yes, I'll help. About 20 minutes later, I moved everything into his car and he hadn't touched a thing. He had rubbed his back the entire time while complaining about the enormous pain he was suffering. My back hurt now, yet he went through the driver's door without even a handshake. He smiled blank blankly and said, thank you very much. You're welcome, I said, rubbing my sore back. Then his face changed completely as if he'd become another person altogether. And he said gruffly with a sneer, sans accent, sucker, as he proceeded to leap in his car and drive away. And that is my book of the month, Andy Kaufman Revealed, His Best Friend Tells All, by Bob Zamuda. And Don, what do you have for a book, book this month? What do you got for us? Where's your book? Uh, this, uh, what you promised to this bring this week, month? my book, uh, is it week or month? I, I forget. Um, it's book of the month. I guess I was pretty into the, uh, to this one. So this is your so book, this then. This will be your I, my book. I had the same book. You had another book, but you just uh, no. I had the same book, so you don't, by you still coincidence, don't have a book. we had the same book. You don't really have a book, do you? Is that um, the idea? Yeah, I. I it, you it's just that it was that. Cut. It what was that the book. Hell, I thought you. Could I had a book. It was that book. It's it was not the same, same book. book. Could I do? have a different that? book? I. I'm starting to get the idea that, that you don't like Prima on Book Corner. I'm starting to get that idea. Oh no, duh. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the fourth installment of Primadon's Book Corner. It's going to be a great one today. i got a great book. I have a little trouble finding this one. It may or may not be in print. Check your used bookstore if you can't find it at your local bookstore. It's How It Go Sell. I never played the game, and I'd like to read you a selection from this right now. <laughs> Howard's such a rascal. Listen to this. You won't believe it. Well, you know, Howard, the game's the thing. That's what's really important. Yeah, I've read that, and it's a lot of garbage. You can't have the Super Bowl every week. We had more awful games than I can count, and Monday Night Football continued to have a mystique. Why? Because I was the mystique. Me and nobody else. To hell with a damn football game. And for that, I had to subvert myself to a couple of jocks every week. That's a great way to live, right? That's called Howard Cosell, I Never Played the Game. Get it at a bookstore near you. Hey, where's your book? What are you doing? Um, your book. Uh, well, I dropped my book. <coughs> dropped Drop, my book. You dropped your book. Dro was it this Drop book or was it that book? That you dropped. Do you uh, remember? I think it was that book. Was that Can you book? Get it this for one? Me? Sure. Here you go. Here's your book. This is the book you were gonna. That's your book. Yeah, I was gonna do uh, the same one that I just New did. New York Times bestseller. The same I mean, one that I just did. Howard. Oh, you didn't do that one. Oh, You're never gonna I, see I, this is the book. book. This book is my book. Ever again. Here's, here's my book. This is. Uh, I'm out of here. What? What do you gotta be that way? You didn't want to do this from the beginning. I'm out of here. The oh, now he agrees with me. The hell with the books. The hell now with the books. he agrees with me. Four frickin' weeks later. Has anybody got anything to drink around here? No? 